Hi guys, welcome to this uh, particular system you're looking at. This is ALCI and then deciding to install GNOME on it. And the video is about kernels. Somebody on the line on Discord says, hey, uh, can you install the TKJ kernel? And let's combine things a little bit. So first off, this is the ALCI.online. If you go to that website, you can build your own Arch Linux Calamaris installer or you download it. And in this case, well, I've had GNOME and maybe GNOME Express, not sure. And we have a system, a desktop that works. Now, I would like to add the kernel, TKJ kernel, to the system. And I need to do several things more than when you are on, on an Arch Linux ISO, right? This is just the bare Arch Linux system. Doesn't know anything about, uh, well, let's have a look about Arch Linux. Did I include already the no i did not i did not include any of our uh, arco linux packages so what i would do is go for a browser if available on gnome and then go to arcolinux.info find me the app that makes it possible to install on any arch linux based system our spices our packages download Arclix Spices app. It's, it's a little application that runs through some buttons and well, we'll go over them. Let's quickly have a look how many times it has been downloaded already. Always interesting to watch 3622 times. Let's download it. We've got it. It's here. And with right mouse click, let's see open internal that works. Pseudo Pacman minus U. You install Arclix, right? Not S, but you install something local. Now, at this point in time, it's busy, right? It's busy. There can be only one Pac Man working, and now it's finished. So now I can do it again. The lock is gone, and I can install Arclix Spices Kit. It's gonna be in here somewhere. So, Spices, we launch it, and basically, we have. Well, many of us have a key server problem in the sense that our internet service providers are blocking some ports. So we have a fixed key server connection, which is going to add some, some uh, lines to your GPG configuration. And now we're gonna be able to get the keys in. So add and trust Arclix keys. If you see these hashtags at the bottom, boom, you're done. Add Arclix repos. If I do an update now, I'll get something else. Let's try again now. Voila. So I have my Arcalix repos available, which simply means that a pseudo pacman minus S yay bin, right? To have an AOR helper ready available or Paru or Trizen, they're all there. You just choose whatever you want to use. So, that's enough for me. I want to have a TKJ kernel. That's the goal of the video. So I am gonna get one thing more and that is the Arclinux tool, right? We are very proud of that particular package because it really is awesome. We require, require a few packages, but that's done. And also a key and the key is coming from chaotic since we have the possibility now to actually add another repo. So this little shop here is where you get your stuff. You get your stuff from all the repos, Arch Linux stuff, Heftus repo, but also Chaotix repo. And if you activate that particular button, then do an update again. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> Pseudo Pac-Man. Right, we're always too lazy. And then we have another line, Celtic AUR. And if you want to install the TKJ kernel, sudo pacman minus s Linux. That's all you need to type and then tap, tap. And let's make you the window a lot bigger. So again, tap, tap. And let's do that again. Tap, tap. We have 295 possibilities. And here are all the TKJ kernels. You have to choose one of them. I guess we need to read somewhere what specifically is 
uh, it is unique because hey there are just just way too many to try out but um, that's it that's the only thing you need to do and often I see this guy here just a general one that's being installed on ISOs so I think you could give that one a first try and see what happens to your machine so it's going to try to get here this the mirror keys but as you see the keys the, the, the mirror keys are not um, there so chaotic control C trying to stop this thing okay let's get our pseudo pacma minus s chaotic stuff in chaotic mirror list that's all you need it needs to be of course the new guy so let's have a look yay chaotic there they're going through some changes i've seen lots of um, new lists coming through and it's not in color and it's damn difficult to read but um there is a chaotic mirrorless there and another one there i guess it's number three which is the one we have that should be the last one so it should work with number three but let's build it again so it gets installed again and do we pseudo pacman minus s y y u again and then try again this this guy all right it's downloading be glad right it's all about servers where is it what's the key and then you get everything in so we'll get a dkj bmq and the other ones i've tried were as well good worthy of of a search linux xamod has been installed here for a while right um i'm not really testing these kernels i suppose there are many tutorials about people testing kernels and all that so that's um, a little search and you'll be able to learn more that way but we'll have a voila there it is we have a vm linux linux tkj bmq in our boot folder so we can actually boot up if you're not booting up with that particular kernel is say, hey what's what's happening well the best thing to do is install in this case this is a virtual machine a virtual machine right but also a virtual machine in the sense that there is nothing on there it really is an arch linux thing and then just gnome on it so pseudo pacman minus s my advice is grub customizer application is great we are working at this point in time we're installing somewhere cancel right he's building here Whew. never interrupt anything like this here okay grub customizer and this particular application actually uh, shows you well suppose we have to wait a little bit but it is installed well you can always run it from a terminal yes you can and then it will find this right and if you say oh i would like this one to be at the top of the list it's just with arrows up up and it's gonna be at the top of the list right it's as simple as that but let's uh, not do anything no changes quit without update okay and see what happens and boot up so restart Arch Linux voila we should have done something I already know we're booting up the Linux kernel it was a quick flash there but um, it was visible for a second <laughs> so terminal <coughs> I always like NeoFetch to be there. It gives us quite. Oh, it's already there. Fine. It gives us the summary, right? It gives us the. Oh, I have not the right kernel. Okay. So we do need to go for the Grub customizer by default for this guy. And I'm going to say as simple as that you go to the first place. That's one thing you can do because in the general settings it says predefined first entry i've could have changed it here as well i always well workflows right 
I always put whatever I like at the first line and then save. And we log out again, we restart. We'll soon know how it goes. There we have it, right? Linux, DKJ and VMQ thing. And we're booting. And then you read, read a lot. What is this all about of this kernel? What's in there? I don't know. Entirely for you to figure that out. But NeoFetch, we are on DKJ BMQ. All right, guys, have fun testing out kernels. Cheers.